photobiologically active radiation includes light with wavelengths of A, 200 to 1000 nanometers, B, 280 to 800 nanometers, C, 400 to 700 nanometers, or D, 700 to 800 nanometers? The answer is 280 to 800 nanometers. Remember that we are looking for the photobiologically active radiation. So this is the wavelength of light that has effect on plant growth, whether positive or negative. 400 to 700 nanometers is the photosynthetically active radiation. 700 to 800 nanometers is the wavelength for the farad light. And below 400, that is the wavelength for the ultraviolet lights. And UV lights damage cells and cell membranes and all organelles within the cell. Next. The competition of the different parts of a plant for nutrients and water is known as A. Interplant competition B. Interspecific competition C. Intraspecific competition or D. Intraplant competition The answer is D. Intraplant competition So intra meaning within the plant The competition within the plant Normally, uh, this includes the factors that affect the internal allocation of the photosynthase, nutrients, and water. Interplant competition occurs between two different plants. So normally, this is due to the proximity or the closeness of the plant together. So they compete with light, water, and nutrients. When we say interspecific, this is the competition between plants of different species. Intra-specific is the competition of plants with the same species. Next, failure of pollen from a flower to fertilize the same flower or other flowers on the same plant is A. Emasculation B. Male sterility, C. Incompatibility, or D. Monoecy. The answer is self incompatibility. Emasculation is the removal of the stamen or anthers or killing the pollen of a flower without harming the female reproductive organ. Male sterility, this is the impairment of the male reproductive development as a result of underlying genetic causes and this will lead to the malformation of the male gametes or the pollen. Monoecy, it refers to the state of having both male and female parts. So, it is also called as the hermaphrodism. Next, Small raised areas in the bark of wood stems which function for gas exchange are called A. Pneumatophores B. Lenticels C. Stomata D. Hydatodes The answer is Lenticels Stomata or the stomates you can see that in the leaves and Hydatodes also is in the leaves. The difference is that the Hydatodes would will be seen in the margins of the leaves, while the stomata is present in the epidermis. Pneumatophores, these are aerial roots or roots above the soil or above the water surface in the case of mangroves for gas exchange. Next, it refers to the art and practice of laying out grounds or designing a garden to imitate the natural scenery. A. Ornamental horticulture B. Landscape gardening C. Nursery management or D. Plantation The answer is Landscape gardening Ornamental horticulture refers to the production of plants with aesthetic values. Nursery management, this is the sum total of practices or activities done to ensure the successful production of planting materials. 
plantation is the intensive growing of crops on a large scale for commercial purposes. So, crops planted in here are typically utilized after processing. A strengthening tissue present in the plant that can be extracted and be transformed into economic products like rope, jute sack, cotton balls or cotton is A. Erenchyma B. Colenchyma C. Sclerides or D. Fibers The answer is Fibers Erenchyma are modified parenchymatous cells or tissues made up of interconnected air chambers. So they have enlarged gas spaces and they are found in plants exposed to flooded conditions or in hydrophytes or water-loving plants. So this functions for gas exchange and buoyancy. What is buoyancy? Buoyancy is the tendency of an object to float in a liquid. Colenchyma, these are usually found in the strings of celery stalks. So they are elongated living cells that provide mechanical support. And normally they occur in the periphery or in the side of the leaves and stems. At maturity, these colenchyma have cell walls that are thick but not usually lignified. Then, these two, sclerides and fibers, these are types of sclerenchyma cells. Sclerides are thickened, polyhedral or irregular shape, while the fibers, this is the long, very narrow cells with sharp tapering. Normally, their function is for mechanical support. A plant that stops growing when it produces a terminal and lateral bud for the formation of the staminate and pistillate flower respectively. Such condition exhibited by this plant is known as A. Dioecious B. Determinate C. Indeterminate or D. Monoecious So in this type of question, or in this question, you might be thinking that there are two possible answers. So you need to analyze the question carefully. It is emphasized here that the plant stops growing when it produces the terminal and lateral buds for flower formation. So the answer is determinate. Remember that determinate plants, these are plants that stops growing once they reach a certain height and produce flowers. While monoecious, these are plants that have both the male and the female reproductive organ. But it doesn't mean that they stop growing once they produce the buds for flowering. So, monoecious can be determinate or indeterminate. Indeterminate plants, on the other hand, is the opposite of the determinate. So, even though they already produce flowers, they still continue their growth. Dioecious plants. These are plants that have separate male plant and female plant. Next, the phenomenon in a single major gene affecting more than one character is known as A. Pleiotropy, B. Polymorphism, C. Heterosis, or D. Epistasis? The answer is pleiotropy. Okay? Epistasis, this is where one gene affects the expression of another gene located at a different location. Heterosis, on the other hand, is the phenomenon in which the progeny have better characteristics compared to both parents. Polymorphism, from poly meaning many, morph meaning structure. So this is the occurrence of two or more clearly different morphs or, or forms or also referred to as the alternative phenotypes in the population of a species. Next, the botanical classification of agricultural crops is the grouping of plants according to morphological similarities. And it was founded by which scientists? A. Pasture B. Luenhoek C. Linnaeus or D. Hook The answer is 
Linnaeus. Remember, Carolus Linnaeus. Okay? Pasture or Louis Pasture, he is the pioneer in the development of vaccines for anthrax, foul, foul cholera, and rabies vaccine. Pasteurization is also introduced by Louis Pasteur. So, what is pasteurization? It is the partial sterilization of a product like milk or wine to make it safe for consumption. Leeuwenhoek or Antoine van Leeuwenhoek is the father of microbiology. So, he discovered the bacteria and the protist. Robert Hooke discovered the plant cells that led to the understanding of the cell theory. Next, the clonal true-to-type rapid propagation of plants in vitro is A. Sexual propagation B. Clonal propagation C. Fertilization or D. Micropropagation The answer is micropropagation. So your clue here is the in vitro. Clonal propagation is the process of reproducing genetically identical plants through a sexual means, such as cuttings. Fertilization is the union of the female and male gametes forming a zygote. And sexual propagation involves fertilization. 